The FOMC minutes were a bit of a non-event in terms of volatility. The decision to end QE appeared to be an easy one. But with me down the line to share his insights is Brian Jones. Brian, in the end, the FOMC added some extra language to say that rates could rise earlier or faster depending on the economic data. But what is your take on what will or what ought to be considerable time? Well, I think if we take the, the, the Fed Chair Yellen at her word, although I'm sure she would have liked to have taken it back, uh, she, she once mentioned that considerable time uh, meant probably around six months. So our own view is that they will remove considerable time uh, at the December meeting and the December meeting statement, and that will set the stage for an ultimate liftoff in rates next June. The minutes reiterated intention to keep an eye on inflation. To your mind, is inflation below 2% as bad as above target for the U.S.? I, I think it really depends on where you are in, in, the, in the cycle. I mean, if, uh, if the economy is motoring along at an above trend pace, I mean, clearly you have to be less concerned with an inflation rate that's running under 2%, whereas if it's running above 2% at that time, it's probably headed even higher. And how will Thursday's CPI data feed into this discussion, do you think? Well, I mean, to, to be fair, basically the data that just printed on jobless claims in the CPI uh, basically uh, echo where the Fed really is all on, on, on progress on the dual mandate. The jobless claims numbers were once again below 300,000. We had a 70,000 plus decline in the number of people on state benefit rolls. So they continue to, uh, uh, to enjoy significant progress on the labor market side of the dual mandate. The CPI, the headline number, was, and the core were a tenth higher than expected. The core right now is running about 1.8%. So that's probably consistent with the core PCE number, probably near 1.5%. We still have a ways to go on that side of the dual mandate. So with all in mind that we've discussed, what is your growth outlook for the coming quarters, Brian? Well, I think uh, growth is still going to remain at an above-trend pace. I mean, the data that we have in hand since the first estimate for Q3 suggests that that, that, that quarter is going to be marked up to about 3.8%. And we think, you know, we're going to enter a period of prolonged above-trend growth. We've got about 3.4% 3, 3 growth in Q4 and expect a similar pace throughout 2015. Brian, thank you for your time. Well, viewers, catch up with this week's main market movers by clicking back tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up with Sinead McLaughlin. For now, though, it's goodbye.